in tensor analysis now we are going to discuss the very important concept particularly of tensor algebra in fact we will now see the algebraic operations with tensors as you know in general in algebra the basic operation the first basic operation you can say is the addition of quantities and after that you know about the subtraction so in tensor algebra 2 first of all we will see these two basic operations that is addition of tensor and subtraction of tensor as you know the addition of uh, two quantities or more than two quantities are possible only when the quantities are of same nature for example if you want to add uh, length in mass that is not possible you can't add length in in mass but two lengths may be added two masses can be added two forces can be added two momenta can be added but you can't uh, add momentum with force similarly in uh, case of tensor 2 the two or more tensors of the same type and same rank can be added here there are two things if you uh, want to add two tensors there is uh, actually two conditions the two tensors must be of same rank and same type too for example let us consider there are two tensors let us say there is a tensor let us say a p q r contravariant indices p and covariant indices q r and another tensor is let us say b p q r you can see both of these tensors are of rank 3 it is also of rank 3 it is also of rank 3 but they are not of same type as you know this tensor a will be a type of tensor what one two because contravariant rank is one and covariant rank is two so this is a tensor of type one two while this b is of the type two one two one so these two tensors both are of same rank but they are not of same type can you add these two tensors answer will be no these two tensors cannot be added because although their ranks are same both are of rank 3 but since they are of different type so these two tensors can not be added but uh, let us say if uh, your tensor let us say this tensor b is like this say this is in fact uh, m say this is b contravariant index m and covariant index n l then these two tensors can be added why because both will be again of rank 3 and their types will be now 1 2 in fact uh, this will be now also of the type 1 2 so both will be of type 1 2 and rank 3 so these two tensors can be added and as you know when you add two quantities or more than two quantities of same nature the result is also the quantity of same nature it means if you add two lengths you get length if you add two masses you get uh, another mass if you add two forces you get another force similarly when two or more tensors of the same rank and same type will be added you will get a tensor of the same rank and same type after add addition of the tensors so this uh, law of addition is exactly same as those of general algebra now sim in similar manner you can say if we want to subtract 
one tensor from another tensor let us say again there are two tensors of same type and same rank again we consider there is a tensor let us say a contravariant index p and covariant index qr and another tensor b contravariant index m and this is nl in fact in this condition you may subtract this tensor b from a or a from b because you can again see these these two tensors are of the rank 3 both are of rank 3 and both are of type 1 2 so it is possible that one can subtract one tensor from another but again if the two tensor are of not same rank or not same type then you can't subtract one tensor from another but if these two are of same type and same rank then it is possible to subtract one from another and after subtraction you will get another tensor of same rank and same type just like addition so this is the basic uh, principle or basic rule you know of addition and subtraction followed not only by the general algebraic quantity but also by tensor so just as a theorem or just as a rule you can say that the sum or difference of two tensors of the same rank and type is again a tensor of the same rank and type just as a theorem we have uh, stated these things now we will actually prove this statement by taking the uh, law of transformation of tensor which you have learnt in the previous lecture because you know the nature of any tensor is governed by a particular transformation law so we will try to explain or we will try to prove this statement by the help of the transformation law followed by a tensor and for this let us consider two tensors so let we consider the first tensor let us say a and this tensor a is in a coordinate system in which the independent variables are xi so i have written here a uh, xi it means a is a tensor in the coordinate system uh, s or a coordinate system in which the independent variables are x i and uh, we also consider another tensor let us say b and this b is also uh, in uh, the same coordinate system let us say x i so a and b are two tensors of let us say rank r plus s here actually r is the contravariant rank of tensor a and b both and s is actually their covariant rank let us say and type r s so a is of rank r plus s and b is also of rank r plus s a is of type rs and b is also of type rs in this condition you know uh, that uh, the components of these tensors in another coordinate system will be defined by the proper transformation law which we have learnt in the previous lecture so these tensors these tensors satisfy the tensor law of transformation 
tensor's law of transformation namely what if you consider that uh, a prime m1 m2 so on mr n1 n2 so on nr these are actually the components of a in coordinate system x prime a let us say then according to the transformation law you know this a prime will be equal to a p1 p2 so on pr sorry here you should write s not r q1 q2 so on qs and you know there will be del x prime m1 by del x p1 del x p1 so on del x prime m r by del x p r times del x q1 by del x prime n1 and so on del x qs by del x prime ns del x prime ns and say this is equation 1 now in the similar manner you can also define the components of the another tensor b in the coordinate system x prime i so you can write here b prime m1 m2 so on mr n1 n2 so on ns and this will be b p1 p2 so on pr q1 q2 so on qs and del x prime m1 by del x p1 so on del x prime mr by del x pr times del x q1 by del x prime n1 so on del x qs by del x prime ns you know say this is equation 2 now from these two equations if you add equations 1 and 2 and uh, if you subtract equation 2 from 1 what you will get you can see easily so you can say from equations 1 and 2 we get you can see a prime m1 m2 so on mr n1 n2 so on ns plus minus actually i have considered here both operations simultaneously plus b prime contravariant indices m1 m2 so on mr n1 n2 so on ns 
and this will be equal to see the RHS of these two equations you can see actually the partial derivative factors are same in both equations 1 and 2 so you may take them as a common factor so after taking the, the those as a common factor what will be your result you can see this will be a p1 p2 see the equation here there is a and here is b so a p1 p2 so on pr q1 q2 so on qs and plus minus b p1 p2 so on pr q1 q2 so on qs and the partial derivative terms you can see this and this are actually common so there will be del x prime m1 by del x p1 you can see and so on del x prime mr by del x pr and again del x del x q1 by del x prime n1 and so on del x qs by del x prime ns and say this is equation 3 now you can see in the <coughs> first bracket on the rhs you can see that uh, this a plus minus b follows the same law of transformation as in a and b and hence you can say that a plus minus b is also a tensor of the same rank and same time so you can say first bracket first bracket on the RHS shows that A plus minus B follows the same law of transformation as A and B. Hence, A plus minus B is also a tensor of the same rank and time and therefore uh, you can write uh, that the, this sum will be just equal to a tensor of the same rank and same type so therefore we can write a p1 p2 so on pr q1 q2 so on qs and plus minus b p1 
P2 so on PR Q1 Q2 so on QS this is equal to a tensor let us say C P1 P2 so on PR Q1 Q2 so on QS so in this way you can see that when the two tensors of the same rank and same type are added we get a another tensor of same rank and same type and similarly if you will subtract a tensor of same rank and same type from another tensor the result will be again a tensor of same rank and same type so uh, we have seen the first algebraic operation that is addition and subtraction of tensor algebra in the next lecture we will see a very important algebraic operation which is known as contraction of tensor so let us wait for the second video for uh, knowing the concept of contraction